Hello everyone, it's Gavin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how you can vote on snapshot proposals. And today, in particular, we'll be looking at the voting process for snapshot proposals that use weighted voting. Snapshot is a decentralized governance platform that numerous Web3 communities, including the Moonbeam community, use for signal voting. Signal voting is an informal and off-chain governance process that allows the community to voice their opinions on a matter prior to an on-chain vote. The key distinction between off-chain signal voting and participation in on-chain democracy referenda is that an on-chain democracy referendum is binding. Voting with Snapshot is quick and easy. It uses no gas and it only requires the user to sign a message. Unlike Moonbeam's on-chain democracy, Snapshot voting cannot and does not lock up tokens for any period of time. Thus, signal voting with Snapshot is fast, easy, and flexible. Let's walk through a demo of how it works. To get started, head to the Moonbeam Foundation's Snapshot space. I'll put a link in the description of the video. Press Connect Wallet in the upper right-hand corner and select your desired Web3 wallet. Choose the account that you'd like to connect. Press Next. Press Connect. Then press Join. And you'll need to review the Moonbeam Foundation terms of use. If you agree with them, go ahead and press I agree and you'll be asked to sign a message. Go ahead and sign the message in your wallet. Now let's check out a sample proposal. And you'll see a bunch of information about the proposal on the right. First thing you'll see is strategy, and this refers to which token holders are eligible to participate in the proposal vote. In this case, it's token holders of Glimmer. Next, you'll see a link to the proposal metadata stored on IPFS. Voting system refers to how users can vote for their desired choices and how the results are calculated such as single choice, approval, quadratic, or weighted voting. And in this video, we're gonna be paying particular attention to weighted voting. Weighted voting allows users to spread out their voting power across any number of choices without limitation. Your voting power can be spread out among several options, or you can support a single candidate with the entirety of your voting power. You also have the start and end date of the proposal. And finally, you have the snapshot block number and the snapshot block number corresponds to the block number at which the proposal started. This is very important because your voting power is calculated as of this starting block number, such that you can't buy or borrow tokens later in order to increase your influence after a proposal has started. Snapshot does consider your tokens that are locked in staking, meaning delegated to a collator, as well as any tokens that are locked in democracy. There's one more thing that you should review before participating in a vote. Typically, you'll see a link underneath the discussion heading to a post on the Moonbeam community forum. And this forum post typically includes additional context on the proposal, such as implementation details and the rationale behind the proposal. So I have a sample proposal here that's set up with three different options. And to get started allocating your votes, all you need to do is use the plus and the minus buttons to distribute your voting power amongst the different options. The numbers used here, let's call them assignment values, do not correspond one-to-one -to, -one to your Glimmer holdings. Rather, they're simply used to calculate the composition of your vote. You can fine tune your vote as much as you'd like, so these numbers can grow to be quite large or remain small. The exact numbers do not matter. Rather, it's the ratio of the assigned numbers that determines the composition of your vote. To calculate the percentage of voting power distributed to each option, you can simply divide the number assigned by the total sum of these assignment values. And Snapshot will automatically calculate this for you. As an example, here I've chosen to distribute 50% of my voting power to option one, 30% to option two, and 20% to option three. You can allocate 100% of your voting power to one option if you'd like. And this also means that you can choose not to allocate any votes to other options. When you're ready, go ahead and press vote. And here you'll see a summary of your choices You'll see the snapshot block number again, and you'll see your voting power. Remember that your voting power is calculated as of the snapshot block number, so this number may be different from your account's current balance. Optionally, you can provide a reason for your vote, just be aware that this is publicly visible. Once everything looks good, go ahead and press confirm, and sign the resulting signature in your wallet. And our snapshot vote was successful. You can see the current status of the vote, underneath the current results tab on the right. And that's it. As you can see, voting on snapshot proposals with weighted voting is a breeze. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.